All right, guys, thank you for your patience as I have navigated through every single thing that has been happening the past 10 days or more. There's been a lot, I'm telling you, but it's beautiful. Every single thing that's happened, I think I've experienced enough of my life to this point. I mean, things can always get crazier. I'm aware of that, but to where um, usually when it's chaotic or hectic or there's a lot thrown at me at one time or just in general, uh, I realize that the most growth happens from those moments, some which at the time I don't know how I'm going to get through, but this has just been a really educational time for me, so I appreciate you for being patient. This is going to be a message for the sign of Sagittarius or Cross Watcher, and you can also reverse this. You're going to hear my other cat in here. This is my daughter's cat. She wanted to come in here today. This is Melanie, and she has the cutest little baby meow. It's like, meow, meow, Melanie. She's just examining. You're probably going to hear the curtain. She likes to get up in them. But anyway, this is what I'm getting for a Sagittarius or a cross watcher today. There's no mistake that I took a break for two days while I'm getting everything together that I need to get together because... Libras, Scorpios, and even this one are all connected somehow. Like there's a similarity to all of them. This one reminds me more of a connection, a type of connection that whoever you are watching, that you have with a person um, that you are realizing, unless it's them or somebody on the outside of you, this is a connection they have with someone, they're realizing this. One person here is coming to the conclusion, almost having like a, a breakthrough. It's like a mental breakthrough, that's it mental breakthrough it's a very positive one any type of mental breakthrough or clarity you get that's positive this this is an individual realizing maybe the connection I have with this person is not so healthy maybe it's not maybe I do need time away from them maybe I needed this time away from them if there's been a break maybe I don't need to be friends with this person maybe I don't need to date this individual Maybe I do need to leave this person. Whatever it is, somebody's coming to the mental clarity or mental breakthrough, mental conclusion. Like, I couldn't really see this while I was so heavily involved or while I've been so heavily involved. I haven't really been able to see how toxic this was until now. Something's happened to cause somebody to see something's not healthy. A connection that you have with an individual is not healthy or if this is happening on the outside of you, a connection that somebody you're thinking about, the connection they have with somebody is not healthy. It could be a connection somebody has to a mother, a connection somebody has to a father, a connection somebody has to their past, to trauma. Instead of healing it and getting therapy and talking through it and getting the appropriate help they need, um, maybe handling things in negative ways or clinging to unhealthy relationships with people instead of um, talking to someone and doing the, the work, you know? There's a connection that's it's not been good, you know, it's not the greatest. And while somebody's in it, which we've all been there, family, friends, lovers, all we've all been there, people at work. You know, when you're in it, you don't realize, hey, this isn't really not good for me. This this was not a good connection. It doesn't have to be anything about an individual person, like, oh, this person's bad, and like maybe some situations it is. But it, it's more so of I just I have a lot that I need to focus on. I have a lot that I have going for me or I have, you know, certain things I want in my life. And by being connected to this specific group, this specific person, this specific partner, this specific love interest, a friend has really kind of set me back and I've allowed it. Didn't even know I was doing it. Didn't know that um, what I was involved in was really not good for me and this break that I've had has really caused me to be able to see I pro yep she's getting a girl you better be careful oh she must be trying to catch something it must be like a mosquito <laughs> she's got her hands on the blinds going uh oh that's not a coincidence what are you doing you hear her? That's the meow. <laughs> it's so cute and little. And she's not that little. She's like two, I think, now. <laughs> I don't know how old she is in cat years, but... I think somebody's going to have a hard time letting go. Even if they have to, like... 
like hunt you down because she's hunting right now she's straight up like now she's over there it must be a mosquito or something that came to the window she's like straight up trying to get it she's on a mission and and this is all happening as I'm talking about the fact that you you're realizing or somebody on the outside of you is realizing hey you know I need to I need to get out of a situation I need to get away from it it's best if I just kind of maybe maybe I do need a change but whoever the person is that's going to be they're not ready for this they're not accepting it they may pull closer because someone's pulling away let's say this isn't happening to you guys at all and you're like no that's not my story it's happening to somebody you know or you wouldn't have clicked on this video I, I believe in divine timing I believe in divine meetings there's a reason there's something here there's a reason you clicked on this video if this is not you at all could be you in the near future or maybe it's somebody on the outside you'll say you have a grown child or a best friend or somebody you know that's they have friends that are not so great for them or one in particular or maybe they have a relationship that's not the healthiest it's not good maybe it's caused someone to relapse or it's caused someone to stay in a negative situation instead of seeking professional help just talking to somebody everybody could use that it's fucking healthy you know they're self-medicating, self-harming, or they're allowing, like, you know what it reminds me of? Like Amy Winehouse, whom really had so much to offer and was, per the documentary I saw, was involved in a very unhealthy relationship and clung to it so much. And then even, I think they like at one point, don't hold me on this, but I think didn't they uh, join like uh, rehab together or something? It's like they couldn't stay away from each other, like attached at the hip. But that can be negative sometimes, where you need to get away from someone. I'm, again, I'm not. I'm, I want to reiterate that doesn't mean like somebody's bad themselves. It's just like where you could have like a trauma bond. It's like a trauma bond. Somebody's realizing that they're in a trauma bond, or maybe you've been realizing somebody you dearly care for has not been in the healthiest connection. They're in a trauma bond, they're in a relationship or in a friendship or involved with people or in the wrong job where they're around people that are just like in a way licking each other's wounds. And it's like the blind blinding the blind really, like not helping anyone and everyone's just kind of toxic. I think somebody could have even been surrounded by several, I'm hearing Hassan, Hassan, Hassan. Hassan? Somebody here could be something to do with his sign this is his sign or this was her sign about him something to do with that um so many connections could have been negative and it was just too much it was getting to be too much in scorpio's message i picked up on somebody something piling up on someone like someone could have been around somebody really toxic at work you know somebody really toxic at school if they're in school or college somebody really toxic in the family a negative friend a very codependent partner who had some addictions like Whatever it is, it's just one too many areas or one really heavy area that somebody at the time, I'm telling you, has not seen the impact and the influence. Oh, it has to do with influence. Someone has not realized the influence that their environment and the people or a particular person or relationship that they've had with someone, whether romantic or not, has had on their life until they're stepping out of it or being made to, forced to that's when they're going to start to see and I think this is someone who's already on the in this message somebody's on the other side they're already out of it at least had enough long enough a break from something that they're starting to see like damn maybe I have kind of let myself go or maybe I have kind of put another person's needs and everything before mine or put all my attention into one person instead of myself maybe maybe I have maybe someone's been really brainwashed or someone's been so enveloped and involved in their situation that they really couldn't see that it wasn't helping them it wasn't good for them but now we're on the outside of it and here we are it's like the light shining through someone's finally and oh my god and that makes so much sense because where am I at right now I'm back home I'm not back home just for a couple of hours so I can wash clothes and stuff and then I'm going right back but that's just giving me the vibe here that like somebody here has had a break maybe somebody's had a few days off or a few days away or a separation or you know a vacation or something someone's had a break and they're realizing that something's too much 
But what's going to happen is this person needs to make sure they're very strong because I think they're going to have to face something again. This is only a break where it's like, okay, when we go back into that, how are you going to have like, how are you going to deal with it? How are you going to deal with it when you're faced with it again? And someone feels stronger now. They feel like they're more equipped. Just needed a little bit of a breather, and now I'm more equipped to get back in the, the ring, get back in the game, and deal with the situation. Now, if this is not anyone leaving a friend group, like deciding, okay, maybe I do need to get rid of some people in my life. This could be as simple as somebody who just is going on a vacation with a partner and, they're, and they need a break from their children. There's nothing wrong with saying that. Or a grandparent who's been raising their children around their children who's going to be like, this was, this was good for me. Like, it's, it's, it's good for me to take a break. It doesn't mean I'm a bad parent. It doesn't mean I'm a bad mom or a dad. It doesn't mean that we're a bad married couple. Like, maybe it's a couple and their marriage was struggling a little bit or just... They needed a break for each other, for the marriage, for the, you know, it could be, it could be that simple. Maybe someone is going to realize, damn, you know, I really needed some time off from work. I didn't realize how much I was putting all my focus in the work and not my family. And now maybe an injury happened or something, or there was a family emergency and someone's been pulled away from work. And so now they're like, well, I kind of like being home. I kind of like getting to know my family better. I didn't realize how much I was constantly just worried about being the breadwinner or putting the money on the table, the money on the table the food on the table. Like I put all of my focus into this and it's not necessarily bad, but it's unhealthy. Like somebody's life was unbalanced. Aren't all of ours, you know? And the break is, is a blessing. Somebody's break is a blessing. It will, they'll realize it or they're doing it right now. They're realizing that this was really good for me or this was really good for us. Like I really did need this. And then they're gonna come back, whether it's physically come back to a place or a person or people, or they're going to somehow return to something and decide what they need to do from there on out. Like, okay, I need to schedule more times like this. I need to make sure I take care of myself better. Or I'm going to all out decide I do need to cut some people off or a person because I have been too involved and I have neglected myself. And there's some things that need to, to give here. Maybe somebody realizes that they need to quit that job. They put all their focus into a job and not their family. <clears throat> Maybe somebody realizes they need to take a couple more days off or to spend more time with their family when they do get off. Someone could realize, you know, I really have chosen the wrong crowd to involve myself in and with. And I think it is time for me to pick some new friends or something like that. Maybe I have been in an unhealthy relationship where it's been all about money or all about my partner only or maybe I have been waiting on someone to make a decision who really doesn't love me who doesn't even notice my existence who doesn't really even care and I'm not saying bad person bad person bad person I'm just saying I think it's time for me to make a decision that's best for myself and the only reason I've come to that conclusion is because I've had a break or I've had enough time to really decide what I think is best for me and I didn't see it when I was in it Wow the problem is going to rise when they, I think when somebody returns, whatever that means, when somebody comes back or when somebody returns or when somebody, you know, talks again or reaches out again or whatever, or returns to whatever reality they're in. Cause this doesn't feel like an ending yet. It feels like a pause. It doesn't feel like there's going to be a, like a change yet happening. It feels like somebody is taking a pause or a break or something. And in this, somebody's realizing I do need a, I need a change here. Something's going to have to give. But whom they return to, wherever this is, family, friends, all that work, love, potential love, they're not going to want to let it go. And of course not, because they got used to how things were. That's the problem. I think somebody here or people, groups, a person, friendships, relationships, family, got used to how things were and so when you when you change something on them they're not going to want that you know they're going to be like is it me is there something wrong with me and it's like no but I do think that maybe you need to think of some things too like you guys need to like I, I, I would hate this to have to be that one person here is doing the work like this kind of work real inward spiritual work somebody here is doing this work this 
deep diving, this going down the rabbit hole, really spiritual soul searching, soul searching, that's it. Somebody's doing the soul searching and then, you know, returning to reality. Is it reality, you know? And realizing that these people aren't doing the work themselves and this person's been taking on all of that. Or that they've been dealing with people who've been taking them for granted or used to them constantly being there for them, but it's keeping them from being there for the people. Something like that, right? It's something along the lines of that will be what ends a situation is when someone comes back and they realize that even though I've done this soul searching, it doesn't mean that where I'm returning to these people have or this person has, and we may not be an energetic match anymore. I may need to find a different job or I may need to let some people go. I may need to end a connection. I might need to give up on a love interest that I've had. I might need to fully let them go and I'm ready. I think someone's gonna come back equipped, prepared, well healed and rested and really truly like better clear clear headed clear minded but the other people or the other person they're not going to like this it's almost like they may even i don't know i think they're going to try to find other ways in or every way they can to try to keep someone right where they're at or something you know why i say that because now she's kneading the rug on the floor she's a happy girl but it's like she's self-soothing. Like she's finding a way to self-soothe herself. She's just so, that is so cute though. <laughs> you like your mama? Yeah, you like your rug? Oh man, it's a pretty girl. It's a pretty girl. You like it? It's so much like it. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She blends in with my rug. <laughs> Let me take a picture. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Meow. Oh. She's closing her eyes when kneading the rug. It's it's just a fuzzy little rug. It looks just like her. She looks like a like what do you call those? <laughs> She's closing her eyes. She a chameleon. Oh, be careful of that. Somebody here could try to be like, oh no, I'm willing to work with you too. Or yeah, that's okay. That's fine. I'm willing to get, but they're not though. That, that Somebody here may even try to tell somebody what they want to hear just to make sure that they keep you around. They may tell you what you want to hear to keep you around when you return. Oh God. I don't believe it. I feel like if somebody goes, like returns to their reality, whatever they were, before they took, whatever break they're taking, you or another, I think when they do return and they're met with this, I think it's going to work only for a little bit and then if somebody does fall back into a trap and believes that, oh, because I've changed, another person's done the work too. I think if somebody falls for the shit, I think that could be really bad. But for the majority here, I don't think anyone's falling for anything. Nah. I think you're going to return to something, something, someone, a job, something after a period of time away. I don't know how long this has been. Months, weeks, days, maternity leave. I don't know. A mental break. Uh, you know, something. Due to traveling, due to vacation, due to health. I don't know what the break is. But you come back or somebody that's on your mind right now, they're doing this. And you're like, um, I think this isn't for me. Yeah, I think it's not for me or something's going to have to change here because I happen to really enjoy my break I had away. It made me feel stronger. I feel like I could conquer the world and I don't want to backtrack I think somebody is going to be there there's so much transformation that's going to happen in someone's life when they've taken a break that when they return it's I don't think someone's gonna want to digress like someone's gonna want to um, regress is that the word they're not gonna want to go back to the way things were because they happen to really feel a lot better on some sort of break they had 
Did I make any sense in this message? I hope I did. I feel like I just hopped a timeline here. Did I seem like I did? Y'all know what I mean by that? <laughs> you know, we're like, I feel like I just shifted timelines. Like, I almost feel like this is coming in the near future, like in the next week or two weeks, three weeks. It almost feels like it's not a now thing. It's coming. Some of you, it is a now thing, but some of you, I just, I straight up just hopped timelines. I just moved into the future for a minute, got your message, and I came right back. And now I'm sitting in the break. I think you're in the break right now. I'm gonna give an example. Let's say uh, somebody here, did I go way over? Oh, I went over, but it's okay. It's been a while since I went over on yours. So we'll just keep going until I feel like we're done. Let's say you really liked someone and you had this crush on somebody, right? And that you couldn't get them off your mind, off your head. You thought about them all the time. And this person was unavailable for whatever reason. Maybe they never paid you any attention. Maybe they were in a relationship or I'm hearing marriage. Maybe they, I don't know the situation. But you were getting to the point where damn near, I don't know, it was just constantly all you thought about. It was a lot of what you thought about, unless this isn't you, again. And something happens, I don't know what, again, right? To where you have a break from this person. A long enough break that you, you almost start to not forget about them, but you feel a lot better without thinking about this person as much, you know? And then something causes you to have to like, once the break is up, you return to whatever area and you see them, whether it's at work, you see this person or in your neighborhood or I don't know. And when you come back, you're like, I'm kind of over it, I'm kind of over this person. Like the energy is off because your energy is different. You elevated, you moved to a different energy and you're now kind of, I don't know, your vibration is different and you can tell Whereas when you left, your vibration kind of matched this person's too much closely that it was almost like I'm seeing somebody go to Lowe's or Home Depot or any kind of department store where they sell paints and you see like paint swatches, you know what I'm talking about? And let's say you're looking at, I'm seeing in my mind's eye, tans, like tan colors. And there's like brown and tan and light color and coffee and mauve and Swiss coffee and there's all these different shades. Now this could be nail polish, like maybe somebody's wanting to get their nails done like a nude or like, you know, there's so many different shades. Yeah, but there's some that are so close, it's like really hard to tell. That's what I see. When you're in it, you didn't realize that your energy was kind of similar to someone's and almost so similar you couldn't spot the difference. But when you left and were moved just to a different, I don't know, a different fucking shelf, something, there was this change that occurred. Maybe somebody sprinkled a little white in there and sprinkled a little gold flecks and sprinkled a little, I don't know what you can sprinkle in it and then used a little roller. Whatever somebody did, you changed. And now you're like, well, I happen to like this color better. Yeah, I like it on me. I like it. And you return to the shelf you were once at. I don't know why you return. Or maybe someone's pushing you down the car. Okay, I'm just seeing a vision here. And, and you're like, oh, I used to be over there. And you're like, oh, I don't like that anymore. I don't think I want to go back over there. I think I want to be what I am right now. I like this me. I like this. I like this. I like this change. I think I like this little life. <laughs> I think I like this little life. She's looking at me like I'm nuts. Hey, it's a happy girl. Happy girl. Oh, baby. It's a big girl we doing. Oh, God. She is happy. She's just rolling on her back. She's licking her tail. Oh, she's happy as shit. And she usually don't come in here. Yep. But she's content as fuck. So, she likes the change. You know? Somebody here likes the change. <laughs> it's cute. She's thriving. This this bitch is living her best life. I can't take a picture because she's all over the place right now. She's rolling and biting her little pads on her paws and tucking her tail and sniffing it or something. I can't really tell her head's in the way. But anyway, you know, that, that's you, whoever this is. Just enjoying your new uh, outlook on things, enjoying your new perspectives, enjoying you. Yeah. And you didn't so much enjoy the you that you just were. You thought you did. Or maybe you didn't. Maybe you knew you needed a break and a change. I don't know. Either way, you really like what you have in your life now and who you are now and what you're experiencing now. And you don't really wish to return to something. And you know that if you return to the same person and the same people or the same 
it's going to be the same shit, you know, because there's no change that's gone on there. It's the same. So possibly you're going to be making a decision or somebody is in the near future to uh, either stay away or um, change a situation. And, and I think people are just going to not want you to go. They're not going to want you to go or to change anything or to, you know, but they're going to have to get over it because I think that you're, well, fucking happy. She's happy as shit. And she's usually not that happy. She's usually grumpy. Mm -hmm. she's just she's not well yeah she's girl she's just my sassy cat she's really sassy she's the most sassiest cat i have aside from phil the one you saw earlier she's pretty sassy she slaps everybody <laughs> but she's more loving male is only loving to certain people she don't love everybody at all and she will not just do this she don't ever do this actually like Like she's being silly again. She's being herself. She's like back to herself. She's like really happy. This is like a happy ass cat right now. She looks like she's had some cat catnip or something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's cute to watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, all right guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I've got a lot to do, so i got to finish my clothes and then head back to my mom's, but I hope that I made sense and didn't repeat myself too much in this, but I mean, it is what it is, you know, that's the message today, it's a really positive message, it's just a lot of people won't take it like that um, when you're making changes, because it makes, people don't like change, but you're ready for it, whatever change is occurring in your life right now, you're ready for it, in the near, near future, you're going to be making some other changes to where there weren't many or any and they're not gonna like that and I think that that's when you're gonna decide what you need to do but you'll probably be the one left with decisions here because they're not wanting the change there's people that are not wanting the change or gonna be in resistance to it but I'm hearing like they can get over it because uh, you're gonna come back stronger than ever and knowing more of what makes you happy and more of what you want to do and who wants to be fucking miserable Nobody. Alright guys, thank you for being here and I'll talk to you later. Bye.